Hi Virgo, this is your reading for the middle of April for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, I hope you're doing amazing, Virgo, welcome. All right, I'll be doing um, a lover reading, uh, but I will be reading, well, sharing the messages that I do see in today's reading. Uh, please like, subscribe, um, leave a comment, it's always nice to hear from you and uh, I hope you're having an amazing weekend. We are in the season of Aries. Uh, it is the 13th here in London. I don't know what date it is when you listen to this reading, but uh, apply it uh, to the time that it resonates for you as well, Virgo. All right, I am nearly done shuffling. Let's go. All right, so. <laughs> hmm. It's as if you're getting a uh, creative outburst and it feels exciting. You feel like you are getting somewhere. Perhaps you just feel um, it's as if you are sort of seeing what you have available to you. That could be, you know, your home, your what you're able to do, what you're able to create. You're realizing things are not so bad. <laughs> um, and this could be after a time uh, is where you also have, you know, felt like maybe isolated from someone. Um, someone could be isolated from you and feel quite um, left out in the cold. And this could be someone that, you know, they didn't really give a lot to you, so they shouldn't expect to be, you know, in your warmth either, Virgo. This person could miss you um, and uh, this person maybe realized that they really miss you uh, in your absence, if there is an absence or there's something they miss, um, this person. Now, I would say that you have embraced something about your creativity, something you're very good at, something that can make you money as well, Virgo. And you are, you could be enjoying the single life. You could be an influencer. You could enjoy beauty. Uh, there is talents within you that you are exploring as well. You really enjoy, you are enjoying it at the moment and people could enjoy watching you as well. Something about creativity and also making money whilst you're doing it. So there, this could also be new ideas. Now, a person here, perhaps uh, have Aries in their chart, um, could have Capricorn in their chart, maybe a Scorpio. Wow. So you have someone that want to come in to apologize or they want to come in with a nice gesture to say, hmm, I'm back. Okay, I have been involved with a, quite a dramatic uh, turmoil. Someone, it, it's like a lot, it's a lot of turmoil happening around them. We'll look into what that is. I see that in this person's current situation, they're trying to move towards a calmer, a calmer time. Um, it looks like something very difficult have occurred to them um, that have changed their living situation, perhaps, or something like is being blown up. They might be there is there could be people around them that they have to deal with that are difficult. Could be people, uh, a person. We'll find out a little bit more uh, up here. Okay, someone is keeping this person very stuck and trapped and kind of with aggression. Um, also, I'm seeing that there's someone, yeah, people around them is like giving this person a hard time. Yeah, it's um, maybe they are paying some karmic debts or just being unlucky here um let's see what is happening virgo okay so uh you might be dealing with a fellow earth sign this person here is someone that maybe yeah well it is possible you know i don't want to go jump to conclusions <clears throat> it is possible that this person have stayed in a situation they try to keep things calm but it's not possible they might be a father figure this person might have aries and um, either that could have a combination of Aries, Capricorn and Scorpio. So that's quite specific. Now, as they try to remain calm, cool and collected in like their situation, a Virgo, it was something they couldn't maintain, even if they stay there, even if they did jump through hoops for a person or did whatever they thought they should do. Um, it's... A tower moment is happening now i don't know exactly uh what the uh, kind of chain of events but i do see i see someone poking in them and getting a reaction out of them 
they could be getting a reaction such as, you know, finding out that this person had feelings for you. And when they find out, they ex absolutely explode because they cannot control the feelings this person has for you. Uh, so they cannot control their heart. They can control their actions, their feel, but they cannot control their heart. So I see that this person could have just kept themselves in check for perhaps a, a child or a situation. So they are staying put. But I see something is triggering this person like no tomorrow. Someone is doing something that's mean, they could steal from them. Uh, I see, yeah, someone is very, very mean around them. Really like not supportive at all. Um, they want to get away from this toxic uh, toxicity. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. Virgo, you are this this could be very personal, very specific, but I'm seeing here someone that lost their sovereignty, someone that is under the thumb of an environment, both in their emotions and their um environment. This is like a bad situation, I would say. It's someone that is full on either aggressive with an addiction. It can be all kinds of reason for it, but it's not something that they can't keep under wraps. It's a situation they cannot handle on their own. And it's becoming quite violent and it's becoming like un, out of their control. Like this could be a lot, there could be a lot of violence um, here. Um, I will step aside from the energy a little bit. So <laughs> yeah, I'll step aside from the energy a little bit. But it's something about manipulation. There's something about like two people not seeing eye to eye. There could be corruption. There could be anxiety. There could be um, criminals. There could be all sorts here. But um, yeah, there's something here that they try to kind of, it's like uh, tame down to uh, make it look pretty on the outside, make it look like, okay, let's just try to patch up the tower. Let's try to do that. There is something about protecting could be protecting someone so i'm seeing a child um but yeah yeah something is kicking off i see two females behind them i see a friend that could have uh, stitched them up like supposed to be on their side but actually they are on the side of someone else there is some kind of not a good <laughs> not this is not a good situation around them <laughs> um okay now i will look into you Okay, so I've, you might not know about this, um, Virgo. Well, like you, there is an energy here that's very, very, very chaotic. But this person is going to reach out to you. They are looking for you. They are searching for you, or they will be giving you a heads up that they want to see you. That there is, you know, with the page of swords, page of cups. Yeah, this person will, you know, they they'll make sure. Yeah, <laughs> they make sure you get their invites, or there is something about like they. They must reach you. Uh, but you, Virgo, you are sort of with the nine of wands. You are sort of saying, well, I wrapped up my chapter here. You know, I can manage my life uh, like or I can have a successful, uh, successful life and successful relationship or find my wish fulfillment. And you might be sort of saying, well, I have given up this connection. And why are they back? There's someone that's back. Um, OK, Virgo, 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 Virgo. OK, sorry, I have some cards just falling. Something about Aquarius. OK. What is in uh, Aqu um, Virgo, sorry, current environment. Okay, so mutual love, caring, and attraction. That might be for Taurus. You might have been married to this person or you have discussed commitment in the past. Someone need to make a choice as well. So that could be this person that is in a commitment. It is possible. They have a hierophant on their end. <clears throat> Yeah. Someone with Scorpio in their chart, they are, they want to, you know, they want to restart a romance with you or they want to start a romance. This here, it leads you to Virgo to contemplate or, well, contemplate might not be the word, to recognize if you have feelings for them. Uh, still, there has been a lot of trials and tribulations and you are not really Hmm. Virgo, even you, there's something you're trying to balance out with your heart, like heart and caring for others is like balancing out also your emotions, your options, uh, what it is that you desire in life, uh, someone that is contacting you, you already, there's an ego, massive ego in the way. 
feeling like you are, have no choice, fear of change, feeling like your hands are tied. Mm, I do see someone that could force you to take a choice or you feel forced based on someone contacting you, Virgo, with drama. It is possible here that you feel like your hands are tied because you love this person but you see this person is immature and they have to get a situation on the wraps. You don't really want to have their situation at your house in a way, you know, in your energy. But this could be a twin flame connection. It's a renewed enthusiasm for each other. Um, it's the two of you are very like put you two in a room. I don't see anything else but joy if it's just the two of you. It has to do with the entourage in the background. You love yourself enough and so much that you are not about to to jump into a bumpy road because someone have not been able to sort their life situation out. But there is a new turn. There is an improvement coming. But is it improvement enough? That's what you are going to decide. And there will be sacrifices here. Okay, so we have... Uh, okay. I'm going to find this deck. Use this deck, sorry. <clears throat> so this connection had the opportunity to start over. This person could be coming with the tails between their legs. They are very humble. They will be telling you the truth, or they will show you their love and affection. But you will notice that this person is coming to you battered and bruised. Uh, you'll find out why they haven't been speaking to you. They might need help. Um, they might need financial support as well. They are anxious about, you know, how they're going to manage uh, this person again. They could be on their own right now. They have been betrayed. They could be betrayed by two people. Uh, they could even have been betrayed by a friend or someone that, yeah, they considered a close friend. So, yeah, they're in a pretty bad situation. Yeah, see here, in bad situation. But they are persevering. There is faith and resilience. But it's also then sort of what what is the resilience about? There is overindulgence, heavy partying, isolation, independence, alone time. There could be some something to do with, yeah, there is something to do with uh, either substance abuse, alcohol abuse. There is just could be crime. There is just something that is way out of whack uh, on this person's end. There might be jail time. There is like victim mentality i mean there's is like a really low vibration with the five conflict disagreement competition defeat winning at all cost again it's like this person could live in another world like someone here is carrying all the burdens right they are there's delays a lack of motivation so they could have gone towards um trying to fix a a relationship or they stayed they thought they could still carry on the way it was but no, they couldn't. This is like staying way past when something should have ended. There's a difficult decision. Uh, it's something weighing on them here as well. There is a personal transition that needs to happen, but this person feels very weak and fragile right now. They need to plan things carefully. It's about accepting as well. There is a lost opportunity as well. Uh, honestly, this person here have lost an opportunity with you. And the thing is like you are right now, Virgo, I see that you right now have an opportunity for healing and success. And a person, as a person on your doorstep, they're either strong Aries or strong Scorpio. They want to heal a situation. Now, but they have to do heal themselves first. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, I see that this connection can, you know, it, it can heal. It's not impossible. But this person that might be Aries here with a child, that might be a little too complicated. But, you know, it, there is a possibility to heal. I see a person changing or starting this journey of change, come, getting out of this environment they're in, which is, which is good, but it's not like an overnight fix. So it's something really dramatic. This, this reading, it feels just quite personal. It's not going to resonate 
with maybe not even many, <clears throat> I mean, I, ho I hope not many people are involved with anyone in such a dramatic situation, of, of course, but, you know, it can also be short-lived, uh, but it's just something very intense around this person. They have really entangled themselves into a, a wrath or a rat, <laughs> uh, I was going to say, like this person, it's just like they... There is something about addictions, there is something about not knowing when to stop. There is definitely on their end as well. I don't really see that this person is just purely there uh, at the wrong time, at the wrong place. They, they have a part to play, see if we can get something else. So what is happening in this person that Virgo is dealing with? It's environment, please. Oh, what else is happening right here? Okay, yeah. Time has come to change direction. They know that happiness, you know, there can be happiness in their life, but they have to make the, they have to see what's going on. They have to stop standing on a crossroads. They have to grow up. This person have mostly been looking for a quick fix and they're not getting it. Uh, this is someone that, you know, they, with you, they have the support, they have the love and, and everything, but still this person based on their own addiction, possibly stubbornness, ego, they didn't reach out to you for help, possibly. And now it might be too late, but that's their intentions. This person is like they see, like now they see some corruption. Someone's taken money from them. Someone from their past they thought were their friends. It's like all up in the open. This person have to be go, have to go through this deceit, or they have to accept it, and then they have to make a sensible decision. It's something that. It's going to hurt, but they will find out about something they didn't listen to uh, at first. But now it's all out, out in the open. Yeah, there, there is definitely someone that really betrayed this person. Uh, asked for a second chance. They gave them a second chance. But see here, this new beginning was quickly reversed. It could have had to do with lust, fun. This person is quite superficial and quite like in their ego. So it's very much like, um, it's almost like, oh, can I get some good pictures out of this? Let's live like it's our last day. It's something about getting together with a bunch of people that you've known for a long time, but you know, you're doing it at a certain age or something like, it doesn't mean it's going to be the same experience. It's like holding, clenching onto a straw, trying to squeeze the most fun out of it, but it's not fun. It's just become, uh, yeah, quite dramatic and it has consequences now yes yeah, definitely have consequences so they have to learn and move forward they could have also abused their control if you're dealing with an aries they have sort of abused or taurus abused their control and authority <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry so i would say virgo as an advice it looks like <clears throat> yeah, this one will come up. There will, be, yeah, see, there will be no solution. Like this person is best to be left out in the cold, if possible. Someone here has to kind of battle themselves out of a situation. At the moment, this connection cannot be successful because there is just too much heat on sabotaging your person is not much you can do this person have to fend for themselves this person had an opportunity to heal with you uh, virgo but they didn't heal they went out on a reckless mission and now they're over their head can this be healed eventually yes it can but they have to um they have to deal with something that they should not there's like cheating, there isn't, you know, there's something they have to, to, to deal with in order to get this new beginning. Someone could put a spell on them. They're just in bed with the wrong crowd um, as well. I do see someone here, like their ego is getting the, the better of them. I, I definitely see someone, they, <clears throat> they could sort of come in and demand that, oh, you and them should have a, a re- uh, you know, a do over <laughs> in the connection. They're coming, they're rushing in towards you. Like they are sort of demanding your attention. Maybe you used to, 
and drop it all for this person Virgo but I say that mm, you are not now because there is also another person that is new to you and is coming in after an a change and so on and you are taking this direction i see you have unconditional love especially for dealing with a twin flame but i see someone dealing with an aries that is over their head in troubles over their head in their ego and like it's too much mess you can't you cannot help this person because they keep shifting sides as well like they are this is someone that is like oh my god uh, they play the victim like they are in such a terrible situation to get sympathy votes. And then as soon as, you know, as soon as they get the sympathy votes, they are straight over into the trouble again. So there's something pulling them into the trouble at the same time. And as long as they keep repeating that cycle, then this connection cannot heal. And, and this is not someone I see you want to deal with anymore. But you might have already taken a lot, like you accepted a lot of craziness. From this person like a lot of craziness like you have unconditional love for them but it looks like they have just hit the maximum <laughs> i don't really see that you lose any sleep over it i see you are very calm cool and collected and you're like oh my days really but you're not losing any sleep over this person here you just see them as young and irresponsible i think in their ways regardless of their age you know there is love at your doorstep and uh, see you have options around you. You have also gone through a transformation. You have gone through the pain already and you have opportunities in front of you. You have um, someone that truly wants to collaborate with you, Virgo. I do see this person. Um, yeah, someone has to really tackle their burdens on their own to become a better person, to cop their karma. This person also, they chose their friends they chose their uh, allies okay and now they're they're gonna see and experience that this their allies is not their allies they are sabotaging them all along you might have given them a warning Virgo or if not that being with you show them another way another opportunity but there is um, people around them that sort of keep pulling them into trouble it has to do with it's something about ties like you know it's better the devil you know than the devil you don't there might have been you know it's like keep repeating a cycle with it could be something to do with tradition as well like they were married to someone or are married to someone i just feel like it is like a, a community with a victim mentality um limited beliefs um like they are not getting any support there is hiding and avoiding um there is a lot of turmoil yeah it's There's a loss. So this person could lose a bit of money or they could get their, themselves into this depleted situation quite often based on an addiction perhaps or the people that they hang out with. And they're trying to fix it by maybe repeating something because it heals the pain there and then, but then things just get worse. So yeah, there is something about they used to be fun, but it's not fun anymore. Uh, basically, that it's not fun. It's it maybe something they used to laugh and they thought it was hilarious like crazy crazy uh you know weekends or something like that but now it's not crazy it's like trying to piece their life together and and like things are just all up in the air for them they know they have to make a decision um and i see this person don't have actually a choice um the universe is making a decision for them uh at right now So they are going to offer you an apology or they come in quite humble, Virgo. But yeah, bear in mind, behind them, intuitively, you might see and know that there is something hiding. That this person is sorry, uh, you know, they come in now or loving and supportive. But, you know, is it the one that you want? So there's two people around you. I feel one with strong Scorpio and there could be another one with also Earth in their chart. So I feel like you are choosing... Um, there could be someone here stepping up the knight of cups they're stepping up to be the person that you want to move into a ten of pentacles with so this person could have uh, water elements in their chart um maybe yeah this is like a healing connection if i feel someone with scorpio in their chart scorpio pisces in their chart is the is the right person for you mm. maybe the person that seem like very um you know uh like someone that seems so perfect for you is not anymore. And this could be the person here. They could have 
Aries and Earth in their chart, a combination of uh, Capricorn and Aries in their chart. And this person, yeah, on the outside, they seem like the best match for you, right? You, you could have a lot in common. But then, you know, as the crack started to show here, the tower is wiping them out. And the way they uh, approach you again, you could be saying goodbye with the Eight of Cups. Um, yeah, there is someone here that really want to invest in you. They take their time. Uh, they also understand why you have your guards up. This person will continue to communicate with you. I feel this person could have Pisces in their chart. This person respects you. They, this person holds you in high regard. This person will express that you are their wish fulfillment. They could be a little younger than you. This person, could you could meet them in a work situation uh, as well. But I feel like this is the your new beginning coming, uh, Virgo. Yeah. Your new beginning is coming for you and um, you might uh, yeah, see that you have dodged a bullet with someone, Virgo. Like this this over here. Yeah, that's not where you wanted to spend your time. <laughs> um, yeah, this is not where you want to spend your time. Okay, anything else for Virgo? Yeah, giving the relationship a try. Someone could have a child, okay, so someone wants to give it a try, but, you know, clearly decide the passion, could be religious factors and difference here as well, you know, uh, make the effort here. Um, okay, let's see here. Mm. Uh, I want to feel that way again, yep. I feel you even though we are apart. Someone is addicted to your energy, but yet they're not really making the most out of it. Yeah, I wish I had treated you better. I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. I love you. So yeah, there, there is someone here that is in your energy heavily. They could say they want a relationship. They are but highly intoxicated. Like the situation, if they're not around them, there's something... <laughs> Yeah, that's a very, very, very intense. Mm, year of the Ox could be significant. Year of the Rat could be significant. And yeah, Year of the Dog as well could be significant. And um, yeah, Virgo, I think this is it. Now... For some of you as well, I am seeing that someone could threaten you to, or you hear about this person going all crazy and bonkers because you're not giving them attention. Now, it just says here, keep focused on your happiness. You have already decided where you're going. You, Virgo, there is someone here that makes you very, very happy. And you know now what a peaceful, loving relationship is. You are ready to embrace that. There is a relationship starting very, very soon. Um, a Virgo. I'll just pull a few more cards um, here and I just feel that whatever is happening to someone on the side and if you it happens after you reject them there is a fair reason for you to reject this person because there's been an ending you said goodbye there is a lot lot of love <laughs> towards uh, one another in this union here um, Virgo Yeah, and it's destined as well. Someone try to interfere, you know, with this destiny. But see here, this happiness and this destiny cannot be interfered. So someone try to interfere in your destiny, Virgo, past life um, connection here. Trying to say that it's not, it's not what it is, but it is the two of cups. Okay, yeah, you are the one that's going to have victory, Virgo. Yeah, yeah. Someone has to, you know, learn their lessons. You will, there, I mean, you are the one with victory here, Virgo. I think that's all that matters. We don't need to see what's happening behind a closed doors to anyone that you are rejecting. I do see that you are making a fair call. It's possibly someone here that will spread a rumor about you, especially if, if you are breaking up with someone and if you are rejecting a Gemini, a Virgo, this person will like try to spread some rumors and crap. If you're rejecting a Leo, the same. Someone is trying to, it's very, very bitter. But you have the right to do what you're doing. You're doing everything, you know. Uh, you're not You're not doing any, anyone anything unjust. 
but someone is it's a bitter pill to swallow yeah someone has to swallow a bitter pill there is an apology coming your way yeah I really feel here harmony is on your doorstep you know it's transitioning and transforming your whole life here and you know you are truly truly going to experience happiness um virgo so uh yeah these were the messages i had for you please like subscribe and leave a comment and uh, have a lovely weekend i'll see you very soon virgo take care